So good morning. It is nice and early. In fact, I'm just trying to down my coffee at the moment because I'm wanting to squeeze in a video before I head out to do filming with a, a dating coach who has actually come back to town. And that is a, uh, a good friend of mine, a guy called Sam Overton from uh, Fluid Social. Really, really good coach. I highly recommend checking out his content if you haven't done so already. And at some point, Sam actually will be on my channel uh, to be interviewed so he can share his story and give you guys some really great dating advice as well. But in the time that I have got with you, I wanted to just dispel a limiting belief that I think most men have. And this is something that I've usually heard from guys who first come to work with a dating coach and they've been pushed into their first interaction and then they always make the statement, I just don't know what to say to her. So first of all, I want you to consider, you know, with the friends and family and even work colleagues that you've, that you've got, that you aren't being restrictive with anything that you're saying you're being your your true comfortable self with them you aren't holding yourself back you are voicing your opinions you might be making crude and humorous jokes you will be asking very deep and intellectual questions but more importantly you aren't going to be afraid to press or push the other person's buttons and challenge them on their beliefs and ideas and believe it or not in any kind of interaction that you are having it's those kind of traits that do build attraction with you know people that you like and obviously vice versa but I think when guys go out and they are um, doing their approaching they are hesitant about how their first impression is going to come across and and so in doing so, they actually hold themselves back on some of the things that they want to say because they feel that rather than gaining brownie points, it might actually lose them brownie points. Whereas if you're being more authentic and if you are speaking your mind or speaking your truth, then the likelihood is or, or truth is that the women that you're talking to probably will be attracted to you. And depending on what your your dating goals are, so let's say you are someone who is looking for a relationship, then this is where being really truthful and, and honest and whatnot with your opinions and views is incredibly important because it will filter out the people that you're chatting to very quickly and they will either like you or not. So it's a bit kind of like that Marmite effect. People will either love you or hate you. And, you know, you see that in like branding and marketing and so on, but it is the exact same thing in relationships as well. You might end up making like a really crude joke to someone and they might absolutely love that kind of humor. And because of that, they are just, you know, maybe not instantly attracted to you, but you really start, you know, building that momentum of uh, attraction with them. And so when guys, I, I've met many men who uh, who are really good conversationalists and they just don't believe it. And I've tested that when I've been out with guys and they are practicing doing their cold approaching and they have said, oh, I don't know what to say to her. I try and, it sounds weird, but I try and inevitably have conversations with them as we're walking around and cover topics of things that they could be talking about with women. And what is funny or what is the truth is that they have really good conversations. They ask me really interesting things and I ask interesting things back and they give really good points of view or they say funny things and just everything, you know. So they, it, I think there's an element of that they just don't believe that they are a good conversationalist because maybe no one's ever actually told them that they're a good conversationalist. Or I think, you know what, maybe there's just more of an element of denial that because they haven't been in enough experiences of talking to, to, to women that they want to ask out on dates or have relationships of sorts with, um, I think they are just too comfortable with um, the kind of conversations that they've had with uh, just their friends and family and, and, and work colleagues and so on. But 
there's not really much of a difference between the kind of conversations that you would have with friends than what you would have with women that you've uh, uh, that you've either stopped on the street or cold approached in whatever situation. You know, it's I mean, really, the only extra thing come to think of it that that tends to get added uh, with the women that you like is just where you make the statement that you are attracted to them or where you are tweaking your vocal tonality and linguistics to come across in a much more flirtatious way. But other than that, I mean, you can talk about literally all of the same things that you can talk about with your friends and family. There is absolutely no difference there. And I think the sooner that guys can kind of grasp that idea that, you know what, maybe I am really good at having conversations. If I can have conversations with friends and family, and if I can also consider the right kind of questions that show that I'm genuinely curious about the other person, then there is no reason why I can't be having a good conversation. And bear in mind that conversations also go both ways. You don't want to be just the person constantly asking the women you're talking to questions. If they're not asking you anything back, then you have to kind of accept that they aren't really wanting to have a conversation with you. And so in those moments recognize that and then let them go um, is the easiest thing but you are a lot better at being a conversationalist than you think you are and if you can talk to lots of people whether it be again friends family work colleagues because they're the main three really if you can have proper deep conversations or funny conversations or talk about topics in in depth then you are a really good conversationalist, whether it be talking about a really geeky topic, whether it be about a hobby or an interest, doesn't matter, but you are really good at conversations. So just bear that in mind, the next time that you do go out to go and talk to women or the next time you're in a bar or the next time you see someone on the street and you want to give them a compliment to say hello, just remember that you know what, you are actually a really good conversationalist. Drill this idea into your head. I am actually a really good conversationalist. I do know what to say to women. Then you might find that if you can get your anxiety in uh, in check, uh, then having a conversation really isn't going to be as difficult with women as you think. And certainly uh, maybe in other other videos as topics, I'll cover the idea of being desensitized to beauty and also just more management with anxiety. Again, if you can handle those symptoms, then all that's left is a relaxed version of you who can focus on having good conversations with people. So I think we will end things there. If you can, please like the video, subscribe to the channel to stay up to date on all content that's going to help you to overcome your anxiety issues and certainly help you to have a much more fulfilled dating life as well. And if you are struggling to make the particular changes that's going to get you results in dating, I'm also a life coach and an integral eye movement therapist, and I can certainly help you to overcome particular anxieties or traumas that are preventing you from moving forward with your life as well. And I suppose lastly, if you can, I'd love to hear your thoughts on this video in the comments below. And also if you've actually got any future ideas or videos that you would love to see, certainly going forward into the new year, then I would love to hear from them too. So with all that said, I'm gonna have to quickly wrap up now. I've been that dating anxiety guy, Dan. Thank you very much for watching and look forward to uh, more videos coming from me in the future.